Welcome to Steam Puzzle Fest. Today, having just unlocked trains in my current Let's Play save, we're about to embark on an exciting new rail adventure in rail routes. After all, there's no better opportunity to master train signaling and automation than in a rail network sim. So hopefully I'm going to learn a few things today. And obviously a huge shout out does go to rail route for sponsoring this video. Now, as a train dispatcher in Railroute, we're going to be managing a thriving network, securing lucrative contracts and unlocking cutting edge technologies like high speed tracks, advanced signaling and intuitive UI options to help keep our customers satisfied by ensuring punctual arrivals. And subsequently, you're going to see how our profits can soar, hopefully, as we expand our rail empire. Also, make sure to grab Railroot at a massive 20% discount during Steam Puzzle Fest using the link in the description below. At its heart, Railroot is a rail management tycoon sim that's featuring a sprawling sandbox style experience. But you can also try your hand at the story, which focuses on the rivalry of two train dispatchers, featuring some terrible train themed dad jokes, but in a good way. Alternatively, you can try the rush hour challenge where you dispatch trains to various stations with a limited amount of rails and signals at your disposal which we'll be checking out in the next video. But with update 11 being newly released, let's jump into one of the many real life city maps. Oh, and before we go ahead, I do want to mention that with update 11, they have brought out the mod.io connection. You can also do this with like the Steam Workshop as well, but you can create your own maps and then share them, whether that's real world maps or you want to make up your own, which is pretty fun. And here we have our first train. We're going to place it on platform two because that's where it's pointing out it's going to. And then it's going to go to Cumbernauld three and then Bridgerton, so Bridgerton one. So we'll bring the train here and then we have to take it to this station and back. Now we have our signals here. These are manual signals. We can unlock automatic ones later. And we also have these switches for the rails. But we're going to hopefully get to the automatic ones. We also have our time controls down here. In update 11, which they've just released, you they've added hotkeys so that we can cycle between these using one, two, three, and four. Um, but we are going to have to reverse this train we can do this by right clicking or by clicking down here and then send it back on its merry way once it's picked up its people. You can see it's waiting here for another 20 seconds back to Bridgerton. So let's send that by clicking on the signal. But you can see we're about to receive another train, which we have to accept here. By the way, um, you don't have to manually accept these if you go to the upgrade um, interface and use the experience that you generate from successfully sending trains on their way. Um, you can see that over here we have basic tracks to increase the speed or automation over here. We can auto accept trains. We can automatically reverse trains. We can add automatic routing, routing queues, um, and then sensors, which I haven't played around with. I'd like to do that in the next episode as well. And you can see on the timetable here, um, which trains are coming into which platform. This one's gonna head back to Bridgerton 1 and we have a freight train which is going to go next to Easter House. Here we go. The next thing that we can do is we can get contracts. Now with these contracts, um, you may need to expand and buy different train stations. Here it's asking for Queen Street, which I have no idea where Queen Street is. It's quite far away. We're not going to be able to do that at the moment because we haven't got enough money. So we're going to decline that contract because at the moment we can only get three contra contracts per uh, at any one point. And you can see that there's a target speed. Depending on the track that you've got, this max speed I believe is 60, but given that there are corners and switches, I think we won't be even able to hit our target speed of 60. We'll be going slower than that. So we're not going to get the full 1,000 pounds, but we will accept another train because more trains means more money. Okay, we will accept that in a moment. And I think what we'll also do is buy a 
another train station. And the idea that I have is to bring a train in. It will go to one station. And then we'll bring another train in and go to the lower one. And then the top one will leave, head to number one, and the lower one will head to Bridgerton platform one as well. And that way we're going to be making the most um, of our space. Another thing, we're going to want to do double tracks. Uh, that way we're using the same tracks for as little as possible. We can remove this. If we hit right click, we can use this new radial bar. You can see we can quite easily delete track and we get all of our money refunded, which is nice as well. But we will need another track from here to head to there. Here we will accept the next train. And we will turn these. So this train will go straight to platform four. No, we didn't turn the... Um, The track and so we've just lost a few points for that that's not great oh well let's see how much money we've we've got for this contract 27 percent ah it's better than nothing 1400 i've just unlocked the automatic uh signal so with this we can now send our trains to the next segment along still need to reverse these and it will also automatically change the direction of the rails. So it's reducing the amount of work that we're doing. So it is slowly automating the system, but we still have a long way to go. The next thing that we need to do in order to unlock the reversal is we need to unlock a red experience point. And to do that, we need to buy either a freight contract or an intercities contract. So we're going to go with freights. However, they will end up staying in one station for quite a long amount of time, which means, for example, I can't use them uh, on these two. If we had an Easter house to Cumbernauld, I'd want to send it to a separate platform. I've also added a lot more trains, as you can see, to this system because, <laughs> well, we, we were going quite slow. This one's gonna be late, unfortunately, but not much we can do there. But here we have Easter house which needs to go to Cumbernauld, like we suggested, but then down to Bridgerton. It's only passing through Bridgerton and Easter House, so that's fine. But Cumbernauld, there's a 20 minute wait. Uh, that is quite a lot of time. You see, we're, we've got all of these eight trains in the next 20 minutes. So we're definitely going to have to unlock another station for that. So let's quickly buy that and then connect it to the main network. So we'll have our train and it will go through here and across to here. And then this will reverse and head through Bridgerton. So let's accept that contract really quickly. All right, there we go. And we have another train down here, which will be going to Cumbernauld platform four. And you can see with this one, it's only waiting 39 seconds. This one's 24 minutes. And we can see that this train's now ready to go. It's gonna run a slightly behind schedule, but it's worth just sending that freight out. But the important thing at this point is we can now unlock either the auto reverse or Basic, well, basic tracks, we still need to do two more trains. So let's go with auto reverse for now. And we'll try and get a freight, another freight, that will allow us to unlock faster train lines. We have now unlocked the more expensive tracks. These will allow us to upgrade. We can do this by um, clicking on here and then pressing C. Although you can see that's going to be 9,600. Oh, okay, it'll be worth it. We'll do the same on the way back as well. And that should speed up the line a fair amount. So we're going to unlock a few more contracts in a moment. In fact, we have these two here. We're going to try and get as close to the 4,000. Before, I think we did 1,400 on the last one that was that expensive. It looks like our perfect opportunity is about to come up. We're going to have a train come in at platform three up here in a moment. 
And then we have space for a, another one to go on platform four. So as soon as we send this next train in to platform three, I'm going to grab, here we go, the next contract. And this one will go to platform four. Oh dear. Uh, we could really do with some kind of switch just here. Just to make sure that the train keeps moving. Move! The train's not going! Okay, well, it did it. We did it. Let's see. Number three. How much money did we get from that? 32%. <laughs> Less. Oh, that's a shame. I mean, it's better than what we're getting paid for most of the trains. So we can now purchase the command chain. And this will allow us to, here we have this one, add multiple sections. So we can increase the efficiency of our network. At this point, we're more or less ready to expand our network. We still could do with a bit more money, but I'm going to start by purchasing one of these stations from Steps. And also we need, oh, we need to unlock these. Uh, we don't have enough money to do what I want to do. Isn't that great? We're going to continue saving for the time being. Oh dear Lord, I sent it to the wrong station. Ah. Uh, um, there we go, save that one. <laughs> the trains at the moment aren't easy to distinguish, but if we go over to the interface, we can actually purchase color-coded stations, and this is so useful. If we click this, we can now see that the Bridgerton station is gold, the or yellow, the Easter, Easter house is blue, and Cumbernauld gray steps green. And so depending on what color the train is, you can see this is gray, it means our next station is the gray one. And then it will change color depending on what train station it's heading to next. I'm currently looking over the job offers here and I want to un up upgrade our contracts so we can go to these and then cancel them should we wish. But for now, I'd rather just accept more so that we're getting more cash because we need to upgrade this line. We have a little bit of space, uh, about 10 minutes where we only have a freight train. Now the freight train can go through, but if we can get a train to either station three or station four before this train comes in, we can do this commuter train, which is 65 kilometers per hour. Bear in mind, this is a, a 80 speed track. It's gonna give us 5,000. So I'm very eager to accept that one. Okay, this is the moment. I'm going to just temporarily add a manual signal here. Where is it? This one, 5,000. Let's see if we can get 5,000 out of this. Straight up to there. You're gonna go straight in. Yes. Come on. Ah, wait. No. Oh dear. I'm gonna have to just wait a moment. Oh, we should have let that one go first. It's all right. We can send it to here. Just go, go, go. Don't be a three-minute wait. No, are you serious? Go! Coming up three. Here you go. Coming up four. No! <laughs> Why? <laughs> we haven't had to wait three minutes. Oh. Well, at least we can accept one of these. Where are you? Steps. Humbernold. Wait, Steps Newton. Oh no, we can't accept you. I swear we had a freight. Okay. Bridgerton, Cumbernauld. Okay. Oh, I just read. Oh dear. Oh dear. Didn't think this through. Got too many trains now. Okay, we've got this train waiting. 
It's gonna wait 23 minutes, but that's fine. This one's gonna go to... Oh. Huh. I didn't send it to the right spot. Okay, you go there. Okay, you need to go quickly. Quick, 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 quick. Let's go. You need to go as well. Oh, no! No! Oh, no! No, 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 no! I can't do anything about this. Oh, dear. Oh, I should have... I can't... I can't even add something to the... This impending doom! I can't do anything about it! <laughs> Well, I guess this is the perfect time to finish. Um, we had a crash. Oh, dear. Um, so if you have a crash, obviously they don't want you to be the, the dispatcher anymore. Um, so there we are, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at Rail Route. Definitely check it out over on Steam. Uh, currently, it's on 20% off. Again, thank you so much to the devs for sponsoring this video. We will be giving a couple of keys out in today's stream so if you're watching this on the day of the release do join us but we are going to leave it there i hope you liked the video please do hit the thumbs up if you did and obviously if you want to see more do let me know we're going to do i think one of the rushes next but special thanks does go to all of our amazing supporters over on patreon most notably our solo clips patrons james Owen, five bless and treble as well as our lunas the calamity ben star shoku the emin wolf and that dude aw as well as our blood moon of the day which today is the south and husky until next time as always ciao for now